Hi everyone. It's Wednesday again. I'm Master Sherwin Teng. Happy to see everyone. And today uh, we are going to share about some feng shui tips that's applicable to your daily life. I always love to do this on a weekly basis and that's why it's a bite-sized tips that you can implement and get results for yourself. Because for me, it's all about getting results for you. It's not about how good, you know, the the kind of knowledge I have is definitely you're going to share with me the results that have been actually what we call before and after contrast. I think that would be the best. For those who are new, uh, actually, I'll do this every week and I'll do an alternate session. This week is an English session. And of course, next week will be a Mandarin session. So in this way, I'll help to uh, engage everyone and definitely to let every users to able to get the results for their life. And for me today, I've shared something that is very relevant. And definitely, I would think that once you learn it, you can share with your friends and family. And don't forget to click like and share. So I know that you're there and uh, always to happy to see, you know, all the messages and greetings that comes along the way. Okay. All right. So let me get to my screen. So today's topic is about never to judge a book by its cover. We always say, Ren bu ke mao xiang. Okay, that means uh, whatever you see on the surface doesn't mean it's a reflective of the insight of the true character of the person or the content of the book. But does it really apply uh, to our appearance as well? And is it really true? Is there any science to it? Uh, I think that is something that uh, a lot of people always love to challenge me. Because uh, as an engineer trained uh, from NUS, a lot of them are actually shocked and still quite shocked about the transformation. All right, someone who is always uh, very methodological uh, with all the numbers, analytical, and, and now with feng shui, it's kind of like a, a pseudoscience that we can't actually verify and validate the results. So I always, um, do this outreach program to let everyone know how to make use of the information that you can take full control of your life. It's never uh, the to, to be led by the nose. A lot of them will see that I do like to see Feng Shui Master. You know, when they say it's good, of course it's good. Lah. If it's no good, then how? You know, I'm going to be led by the nose and say, you know, you must do this, do that. If not, you'll be very unlucky. So I might as well just skip that uh, experience since uh, I just go to face it. All right. Ignorance is bliss as some of them have said. So, um, but don't worry about that. It's not my methodology. I always believe in empowering your life to give you the decision, all right, to control your life. And of course, to give you the different tools and techniques to get your, uh, to your destination in a simpler and smoother manner. Okay, so why are we talking about appearance now? It's actually a continuation of all the sessions that I've been sharing. This is also to help uh, those who actually don't, uh, uh, it's not really like effectively bilingual to understand about Mandarin in the English session. So I always do a slight recap. All right, so let me move on to the next slide. Uh, previously, I thought I would just do this like um, a more simple uh, sharing. But now uh, I do do some slides because a lot say, well, there are a lot of content. Eh. All right, so I think it'll be uh, good to have this visual aids. All right, so if you are, uh, making use of the tips and uh, of course I'm uh, happy to share uh, your experience in the chat box as well and later I will share one of the testimonials given one of the viewers last week okay and, and then uh, this is something that perhaps uh, you can look forward to so the keys to unlock your full potential all right I always say that we are not here to kowtow to the destiny okay if my I'm born in the auspicious hour you know I'm set for life but if I'm not, then how? But actually, it's not. All right, it's not even like half the story. It is only what we call the tip of the iceberg. There are so many more things that it can help to improve your life. All right, regardless of race, language, or religion. All right, so th today is what we call the episode seven. It's easy to remember. Why I know? Because I've shared the six previous keys in the previous episodes. So for those who are uh, kind of like uh, watching the first time and want to see hey, what are the things I've missed. Okay, you can look back. Uh, I always keep my Facebook live online on the Facebook page. 
of course you can always uh, subscribe and get a notification for the coming week so you will not miss and the first key that i've shared is about destiny this is something that a lot of us we can't choose okay unless uh we are like looking at cesarean date for your um, coming newborn and then we can kind of like optimize the chance uh, to get the best uh, part or what we call your destiny chart to be uh, aligned as much as possible okay but we are doing this reading is to unveil to you the strengths and the weaknesses doesn't mean you know it's just like a label that you are stuck for life so it's just like uh, what we call doing a diagnostic check and then with this knowledge in mind, you know where to do and where, what to do, of course, where to go uh, to get the maximum results. And number two is the luck cycle. You know, luck is always dynamic. Of course, uh, a lot of us will, will have this uh, experience. You know, you always say it is not uh, how hard you work. Okay, sometimes you just show at the right place and then right time you meet the right person, you know. So it's actually a luck cycle. So for me, I do a lot of the luck forecast. To let you know where is the best time and best uh, kind of like uh, activity to engage to get the maximum potential to avoid any potential before number three is feng shui feng shui is about geographical locations you know where we are sitting in our office you know direction you know a lot of like uh, the ceos even for the listed companies they always have some uh budget you know for consulting where to sit what are they going to put on their table because we all know the environment that we are in plays a big part okay uh just that a lot of uh, my clients now they have this like hip in their hdb you know the home improvement program so there's some renovation uh, going on when they are still like living on in the house they always complain you know they have a lot of like uh, uh, of what we call co symptoms payday and stuff like that and definitely we all know because the environment interact with us directly all right so this feng shui uh, definitely i've shared some tips earlier on uh, and of course uh, you can check back or you can always approach me for some uh, consultation and number four is accumulate good merits and this is something that uh, you have to do it for yourself you can't outsource all right it really come from your own action your thoughts to plant good seeds and then you reap the good results okay so it is a law of nature all right nothing like a fantasy all right so i would say that even okay for those that done the luck reading the buds uh, a lot of them actually sick uh, for my second opinion third opinion you know they have like a like go to different countries have sick uh, went to different feng shui master so they will, will ask me for, you know for my honest feedback they know i'm someone who is like very direct okay i will not like be around the bush so i say sometimes really not as ideal so what we can do to really kind of like have a quantum leap a breakthrough is really to do good merits to accumulate uh, them and then when the seeds are ripen and then you enjoy the fruits of your labor so don't don't uh, kind of like think that is small just a small thing all right it can really change your things for the better 180 degrees as well as for those who think that oh no i have very good uh fortune you know uh my parents uh, left me a few million dollars you know i have everything set for life okay of course that's kind of like uh, your good karma accumulated from the previous generations and the previous uh, life for those who believe that like reincarnations but however uh you can also squander away your good merits if you don't continue to sow good seeds all right so things can also turn down no stive as well all right so um number five education okay education i shared that it's not about getting a's a1 uh only okay i wouldn't say uh it is not important it's a discipline of a mind but it's also to make yourself a contributor to the society all right to be able to be someone who serve the public and add value to be a civilized individual and this is the one that can kind of like really a notch okay people were kind of like they say you run yuan you know like benefactors but people who kind of always assist you and they say you know why i got no friends when i'm in trouble and stuff like that is all because uh of their upbringing about how they control their thoughts and then their behavior has changed and of course the results uh will be the eventual thing that they get to enjoy all right and uh six number six on name last week i did this on mandarin a lot of feedbacks will say that why wow, it was really interesting and then um 
how how can I you know get more uh, information about their names? Is it like really good, auspicious, or not, and stuff like that? Uh, you can always uh, send us a message to understand how about going go about doing it because name is just like a signboard, right? A signboard on us. So if it's something that is uh able to people remember, you can kind of like associate some good values uh to it. That definitely can help you get a head start. Because right now, a lot of people are looking for jobs. They always ask me, you know, how can I stand out from the list of the applicants? You know, they are like always a HR manager complaint. Wow, so many people apply now. Even like overseas, uh, you know, they even haven't stepped foot on Singapore. They're sending all their resumes all over the internet. So how can you actually set up? Because the first uh, to kind of like really step up, because the first information you put in is your name. So definitely that will kind of like make or break uh, in most cases. All right. And then today, uh, okay, having uh, done some recap, my recap is getting longer and longer because I've been sharing so many uh, good stuff <laughs> earlier on. And uh, for today, I'm going to uh, share more on the number seven. All right, number seven is on the appearance. All right, so uh, I, I purposely zoom myself uh, closer to the appearance. Ma. All right, so to be very linked. All right, so uh, today is all about appearance, like what I say, the book cover, how you how you present yourself. Uh, some say superficial, uh, but I will say that that is the first impression. All right, we all know that first impression always counts, either working for you or working against you. Okay, I'm not saying that you must buy expensive clothes. You must always go to hair salon to, to you know, kind of like a, door yourself up. Of course, if you have enjoyed the service, you feel that it's a, it's a worthy kind of like pamper after uh, working very hard, of course, go for it. But this appearance actually works uh, more than uh, what we think we know. Of course, what we think we know is that you know, people go for like uh, some, uh, they call modifications, some say like renovation to their face. All right, so they can make some parts uh, bigger, some parts smaller, and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, that is the common uh, kind of like understanding about how to improve on the appearance or what we call the xiang mao. Okay, so um, on the next slide, okay, this is the typical kind of like the diagram you have watched or you have seen before, uh, like, you know, the old Hong Kong drama or perhaps for those who actually have this, uh, what we call the Chinese almanac or the Tong Shu. Okay, technically it's called Tong Shu because it's a book, right? Uh, but because uh, a lot of them say that, you know, I don't want to lose. So they call it Tong Shen. Okay, both are the same. I have people actually ask me, you know, uh, what is the correct terminology? Technically it's a book, uh, but a lot of the practitioner, they call this Tong Shen. Okay, all right, they have this, this phase, you know, they put in a different kind of like uh, territories and let you know where are the lucky stars and what you can... Uh, do to enhance and and that's about it okay and, and then they look at this it's like uh blur law what does it mean okay so that's why uh, a lot of uh, people come out with like the uh what we call like the beauticians you know something they say oh because of this you need to do that and this or that there's some truth to it okay definitely i do i will not want to dwell like uh, all the way from the forehead all the way to the chin all right, I did some uh, videos earlier, I think a few years back, uh, it's all uploaded on YouTube. If you're not uh, subscribed to my YouTube, you can always check on that as well. All right, so uh, for the different parts of the face, yes, important. So always uh, take good care of it, uh, especially like right now, the sun is so unforgiving. I know today it was like, wow, super, super scorching hot. So always uh, take good care of your skin. All right, and why is that so? Because as I mentioned, it is not just about the territory, about different places. It helps. Okay, and uh, this is someone that actually um, put in English for you the easier to remember. Or like, you know, where are the kind of like the, the most location that you can have. All right, there was even a Korean uh, drama that I kind of know of. There's like, a I don't know how, how many episodes, 15 or 20, I, I'm not sure. Uh, it was like, you know, they need to attract the right uh, Mr. Right uh, right person in their life and then to marry a, a rich man. So they have to, you know, just put some kind of like a mole on their face and suddenly it becomes like all the bees come to the honey. Like, but, but I know for the viewer, it's like, wow, no super ugly. All right, because they're using it kind of like uh, very superstitious. 
Okay, so um, but this is not what we want to share uh, only today. It's part of the story. I always say there are always more than one right answers. All right, and uh, I always I also did an interview that we shared with like the Feng Shui eyebrow. Okay, eyebrow is important. Uh, and yes, a lot of what we call proverbs in Chinese that's uh kind of like describe the person appearance energy from the eyebrow. Yang mei tu qi, ah mei lai yan qi. Okay, all these are really uh important and essential. But uh, we also look at something that a lot of people kind of like um neglect. I would say they always think that uh whatever needs to be big bigger law. Whatever needs to be uh, smoother, then it just, uh, you know, what they call you, uh, okay, that means whatever the money can solve, they can solve it. But what we want to do is uh, actually to increase not the appearance in terms of like the features, but on the glow of the skin is really like what we call the aura. Okay, or what we call the qi chan. Okay, that is uh, something that needs to be cultivated. And uh, it can also kind of like uh, transmit across the screen, not just like a face-to-face, -face, but uh, kind of like an interaction, then you get to feel it. All right, so some uh, uh, people, you know, find that, oh, no, uh, when they uh, see this face or they just walk past this person, they feel very kind of like a lot of affinity, feel that he's a kind person you can trust, or versus someone that, you know, they want to keep a distance, you know, uh, like an invisible barrier. Okay, so this is uh, what we are also kind of like, uh, uh, what we want to highlight tonight, okay? Yeah, qi chang, the aura. Okay, how to improve on it? Uh, of course, we all know that uh, we look at uh, qi se. Okay, so a lot of people come for consultation with, uh, to me, they wear masks. Okay, of course, now face-to-face uh, -face interaction uh, without any food and dining, we all know we need to wear our facial masks uh, for COVID reasons. And uh, they always like to take out their mask to let me have a good look. Okay, because what their profile picture, Facebook, WhatsApp, sometimes a bit different. Uh. Uh, a bit is uh, uh, yeah, a nice way to say. Sometimes it's really exaggerated. All right, so uh, let me see how they really look look at uh, look like and their appearance so I can actually help do the reading better. Because of the teaser and their facial features, I can actually help to fine tune even much better. All right, so this is kind of like what we call the tips of the trait. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, early last week, uh, someone sent me this uh, message on Facebook, all right, because I did this, uh, what we call a promo, all right, or the feng shui candles. She called it a feng shui candles. Actually, I call this like a wish fulfilling candles. It is uh, more than just like feng shui. A lot of people think that just like Geographical location, improve, yes. Improve on the working relationship, harmony of the place, yes. But uh, there are a lot more aspects to it. So she actually um, kind of like ordered one set with, for me, from me, and then she got two sets because buy one, get one free. So she like light, light it up and, and then uh, she went for like, what I think some NDP uh, event in the neighborhood and she won like the lucky draw. It was like, new in court a lot and it never happened before. So she's, you know, kind of like uh, dropped me a message, said that I, I gave them good luck with the Feng Shui candles. So I always say, uh, it's not me, it's uh, your faith and uh, definitely you do the things that I shared and you did it diligently. So congratulations and uh, and you deserve this good fortune. Okay, and uh, for those who are not sure on what I'm saying, uh, because I've shared earlier on, the limited time offer is still on, all right, for I think uh, because it was, um, what we call started during the seven months, the seven lunar month. So right now I still extending this um, offer, okay, to let a lot more people get to know about this. All right, this is what we call the wish fulfilling candles set, and there are seven candle, seven candles. All right, the candle is not the happy birthday cake candle. It's not like when you blow, then you have this like awkward smell, you know. Yeah, but it's actually uh what we call hundred percent vegetarian butter lamb, and it kind of cleanse your space. And every color represent an aspect of your life. Uh, like over here, you know, like vitality, joy, health, and growth. You can make a wish respectively for the area of your life. And uh, don't be selfish. It's not only for you. Your family members can also use. All right, a lot of people say that wow, they they must they got five people in the family. They must buy five sets uh, to every time. No, no, no. One set everyone can use okay 
All right, I always say, you sing the ling. All right, is is how how much you put in. All right, is how pure your thoughts are. Okay, it is not like how much kind of like investment you put in. Okay, and uh, this is stuff to get you uh on the on the same page. All right, so it not be like kind of like think that oh we must buy a lot of stuff like that. All right, so this uh buy one get one set free is uh really that well I say the inflation bitter because uh it has never been kind of like offered in such a price at all never. Okay, so this is something for those who are listening and you can always check if it's still on and you can always uh, let me know or my staff and we are happy to assist you from there. All right, so uh, time flies. Uh, I always have like a 15 minute sharing. A lot of people say that 15 minutes are uh, just nice. Some say too long, some say too short. Okay, but uh, I always say we do what is, uh, what we, what is right. Okay, we do not want to do just what we call the crop pleaser. They have questions coming in. Uh, sometimes I'll just like a bit longer and stuff like that. So I saw uh, Ken. Uh, hi, Ken. All right. She, he just dropped me a message. Thank you very much for your support. And I uh, know that you also went to my office to to purchase uh, quite quite a few of the items. Thank you very much. Initially, it was just one, one uh, for one. I think you bought like a, a lot more until my my cupboard was like out of stock <laughs> all right and then and then uh, definitely uh i'm sure we have replenished and uh give you in the loop to for the collection okay all right so oh okay just before i end i have this uh, message from celine hi celine all right can i light it once my new house is ready yes you can light it for uh, uh what we call the moving in ceremony the first night in your new house and you can also do it like uh, on the important events like anniversaries, birthday, the first and the 15th lunar month. Okay, so I, as I say that it's not limited only to yourself. Sometimes you have family members who are also like, yeah, I got one uh, parent also asked me for like exams. All right, they are, they are child going for like exams, you know, can they like do this and get good results? I would say uh, uh, you need to study, <laughs> get results. Of course, this will actually help you in kind of like put you in the state, put you in the right uh, emotional kind of like calmness, and then you can get the best uh, from what you have earlier on prepared, okay? All right, so answer is yes, you, you can do it. And uh, if you have any uh, uh, kind of like a um, question on how to order and where to collect, you can always uh, drop a co comment on the Facebook page or you have your number, a lot of them have my personal number. I still don't know why they have their personal have my personal number they also kind of like uh straight away uh send me the message okay right so um uh, my 15 minutes is uh up long time ago all right so now it's 8 15 but i'm always happy to share probably next time will be even longer and longer because i always do a recap in total i have 15 keys to share 15 so uh today i shared like the number seven so we are kind of like halfway mark all right, I will definitely uh, love to see uh, all your comments and share your progress with me. After implementing one or two, okay, uh, in a consistent manner, and that will actually help you get the results. No secret about it. All right, it's all uh, what we call public knowledge. Okay, but if you want to have a kind of like very customized one-to-one, -one, some say it's like a coaching, you know, I really tell them you know what to do. Or some say really like a better forecast. I know exactly what's ahead. I just go in with all the uh what preparation done. Of course, uh let me know. I uh, see how I can help you in terms of your readings. All right, with that, uh, I shall end my Facebook live this tonight. Everyone have a good evening, and then uh I see you next week. Goodbye.